Hey guys, Jordan from Spectator Soft, and today I'm going to talk to you about base or fort protection. As you see, I have a secondary weapon here, and then I put it up on my weapons table. I have barricades up front. Um, it's a pretty simple video, so I'm going to make it quick. For you. In my bags, I have my ghillie suit, my hats, so an extra pair of eye protection, a bandage, and all sorts of stuff like that. And here I have my ammo and airsoft necessaries. I also have a tarp for my gun I've made. Um, you would, you might want some bags, but this is just part one. I'll go up to part two later and show you the top. Um, just a little review. I have walls. There's going to be a door right there, so there's going to be no need for that barricade. Right here, this wheelbarrow is perfect because I sit in there. That's where the most flanks are over in that corner because they got all that tree protection. So I just hide here and you can just get up in there. All this is wood. Very good protection. The top will be closed in but that I'll tell you the rest in part one, in part two. Um, We might put some solar lights in here or something but I have an extra ladder here just in case this one's under repair. Um, and it is an under repair just in case. The fort um, isn't finished. I got these. We're going to build seats in, but just for now, we got all this. Um, that's um, pretty much it for the inside, but mostly the outside is what I want to talk about. Outside protection is most important. Um, so. I think this is pretty much it for part one of airsoft, for my airsoft review of fort and base protection. This is Spectrum Airsoft. Um, we'll do part two of the Spectrum Airsoft headquarters, um, the first headquarters later. Um, um, this is Jordan, our team Spectrum Airsoft, and this is part one, the bottom floor of our base.